All right, y'all. Wanted to kind of show you the progress I've made on the golf room. It's taken a lot more time than I thought, but uh, it's coming around. I would say that it's almost done. So we got a, a lot going on here. We'll scan around through, and then uh, I'll go through and explain everything. So start with the simulator. We got the uh, sky track, and uh, what you see there is a microphone. I'll explain what that's for later. Um, obviously, a ball return. Just place the putt over here, and you know, golf club storage, um, and some training aids that. Uh, Rarely ever use, like most people. Um, there's a I, I use a MSI gaming computer for the uh, simulator software. Also have some uh, like a direct TV box up uh, on this projector as well, so I could turn it into a theater room. Um, and so this is a computer that runs mainly the simulator. Um, so you got loaded with some T's here. Some decorations and whatnot, but uh, uh, but this is the simulator doesn't look great right now. Too many lights on here. Um, you got some dimmers here on the wall that help with that uh, when you get into gameplay. And this is what I would normally play like. And with that, you know, it's actually a pretty good picture. Tried with the four x three format, didn't really like it too much. Uh, this seems to work. Um, but I have the lights on because I'm working on the most recent feature, and that's been uh, getting video feedback of swings. And that's what I have going on here. And you see up on this screen, that's me. And you can see uh, we got a down the line view and um, a face on view camera. Um, and when you're in the golf uh, setup here, you can see here's face on. I have a mirror set up here. So even if the camera's not on, you can you know, get feedback on stance and whatever. And if you look back here, same thing, got a full length mirror. And you can see the camera uh, set up here. Um, both these are UI 3140 cameras with uh, Tamron lenses. Uh, going to just a run-of-the-mill HP computer with you know i7 processor and pretty good uh, RAM on it though um, I think it's probably a bit overkill for just uh, what I'm using it for but uh, might correct that later on the line but uh, also got a fan in here um, a lot of had questions about you know the the padding on the walls and you kind of get a close-up view of what it uh, looks like here and uh, it's you know basically like an insane asylum but with black vinyl instead of white and uh, these are just put together like seat cushions and uh, and then tacked onto the, the wall using uh, one inch furring strips this one's covered in black vinyl just so you can't see it, but these same furring strips that are uncovered are going down this line here, and that's what I'm using to tack these squares to. Basically, every single one of these lines that you see are going to have a furring strip on them, and that's what you end up uh, seeing. I uh, didn't think I would need the net, but I did, and you can see how many balls impact the, the ceiling up there. Most of those are wedges. Uh, that one, I made them sign it because that's a driver uh, after a lot of scotch. So we earned that one. Um, so that screen or that little net there is absolutely necessary. I just attached it using another vinyl covered furring strip right behind the projector. It does not protect the projector by the way, but I'm hoping that won't become an issue. So, you know, this is a look 
backward. Um, you can see the the fan section back there, and uh, try to put some good golf-related pictures on the wall. Uh, water, water station, beer station. Tried to make it as comfortable as possible. Uh, and then now coming to the computer screen, you probably can't see. Still pretty dark image there. So I've got uh, two uh, LED uh, DC lights. Really important for them to be DC lights. I'll explain why here in a minute. But uh, and I put them on a remote switch, so you should just be able to press that button. And now they're both on. And you'll see. I don't even have this thing screwed into the wall yet. It's just uh, a remote switch to make it easy. And uh, it, it connects to just these little deals there. They're both on the same frequency, so they both turn on at the same time. So that, as you can see, the image is quite a bit brighter now. Uh, makes for a much better video. So that's basically the setup. It's uh, coming together nicely. and. Uh, you know, really helping out, uh, getting some good practice time in and looking at the screen or looking at my swings and making some minor adjustments and uh, really being able to see them full time. So I'll set this camera up and you'll be able to see how the, uh, the Swing Catalyst software that I have hooked up um, responds to a swing and then it'll, it'll replay it back in slow motion. to go a little bit long, so it's about what to expect. And the day replay was up there to the right. It takes a little while with these uh, high-speed cameras. There's a lot of data for it to get ready to set up the next shot, as you can see. But, you know, maybe 10 seconds or so and it's ready for the next shot. That's normally not an issue. I don't, I don't get in the race here. Now we got just, just off the green, 23 yards. We just do a little chip, show you how that looks, and we'll be done. That was awesome. I just think that that never happens. That's just how that works. I'm busy. Starting your round under par. No, Birdie, not. baby. So that's basically how it works. Love it. Uh, great place to practice. Percent. I'm gonna press play, and you can see you see that flicker on the camera on the left, and that's why you need DC cameras. But you can see pretty good club resolution through the swing. I mean, I'm very happy with how these cameras turned out. Um, let me just go ahead and pause it somewhere around impact. So this is on the way down to the ball. And you can see the club and the, and the shaft. Um, the face on view is a little tougher to see, but it's mainly because of the background there. This is near impact. You can see a lot of detail on that club when we take it all the way to impact. There's impact position. 
So you can see the club, it's not blurred out. The ball is blurred out a little bit. I had to sacrifice some quality um, with the picture um, and the, uh, the shutter speed uh, to get the, the brightness up in the picture. And uh, so that's just the balance that everybody's got to figure out. Um, without the lights, the quality would be much, much worse. And with the lights, that probably could increase the quality a little bit um, without it being too dark, because that's certainly not too dark right there. So that's basically it. That's the setup. This is uh, this is the clubhouse. Enjoying it, and uh, it's fun to build. And I'm sure. Uh, I feel like I'm done, but uh, I know I'll figure out that there'll be something else cool to have here. I know I'll figure out that there'd be that there's something else cool I could put in here. I'll probably do it. Oh, one thing I wanted to show you guys is uh, not the cat. I hate that cat. Um, I wasn't sure on a down the line view how where I wanted to mount the camera and to allow some flexibility I bought um, this little uh, bar which is just one of those bars you hang pots and pans from the wall uh, found it on Amazon they have various lengths I uh, got this one for the down the line view and then uh, this isn't the camera mount that I'll end up with this is just a little clip on camera mount i have one that will actually uh it's meant for a pole that's being delivered uh, that i'll actually use these will move and tend to tip over and i'll have to adjust them uh at, at some points but uh i went ahead and did the same thing on the face on camera just because i just like the flexibility you know it, if you mount it on the wall it's kind of kind of stuck with it and uh or you got some holes in the wall so this gives you some flexibility to move it around so that's it hope you enjoyed do i have some wire cleanup and things like that to do especially down this area there's a lot of things that need power in this system so but i'll get that all cleaned up and it'll be basically where i want it so enjoy and good luck building your own